In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean this um, small space heater made by Easy Home. I'm not sure about the uh, build date, but I guess it might be 2014. Can't even remember, but anyways, basically the problems, well, it's dirty outside. Cleaned it like a year or so ago or two years ago, but whatever. Main problem when I'm turning it onto the second, the second level. It often gets so hot recently that it shuts off after about 10 minutes, and I hear a relay clicking, and then like, even if you turn it on again, basically it's off. So and that's basically a cooldown span. So. Safety feature, which I can say, great that they've included it because it's important. So, second problem, I'm going to turn up the slide, and you can see it. Hmm. It's too much light, hold on. In this area, you can, you will clearly, like I can clearly uh, see uh, a spark. Just from using the switch. So basically, it's a cleaning around there. Seems like a contact, uh, well, has some oxidization on. And yeah, draws also a lot of current because the cable often gets pretty warm. So yeah, there's a couple other things. But it's first, well, time to take it apart clean it and well probably add some oil to the fan too like the fan engine but for sure i'm only doing like a small dose of oil and very careful because you don't want to get any of the oil getting onto the heating elements because first it's going to smell disgusting second fire hazard anyways let's start Oh yeah, before you judge me, it's the first time I take this thing apart. Like often, like in my videos, it's the first time I'm doing something like that. So yeah, could have called my channel also like the Mr. First Timer. Anyways, very important, check out the plugs out. Need us some prying tools. Oh, yes. I actually remembered something. I had this part open like a couple of years ago because I've done a little fix. Because on this unit there was like a little switch, you know, like a safety switch with a plastic pin. So in case it tips over, then well, that it automatically shuts off. I had to delete this one because yeah, didn't find this thing. But yeah, anyways, I'm always using it anyways, uh, only when it's monitored. So since then, also yeah, done a nice little repair there. Also, what the? Can you see that? It's like a wire piece hanging out there. Oh god, I, I actually noticed a problem with this. I haven't soldered it. I could also add some uh, more current draw to it, yeah, so... Yep, and see it. I guess that was part factory, part uh, my work. Hmm. Yeah, 
should fix it afterwards and yeah just solder it shut yeah solder it and probably use something and uh, so hmm. for afterwards in case I forget let's build up Ouch. Oh yes, look at this. Just needed some pliers. Just trying not to damage the heat shrink oh, okay that's all yeah this is what I try to avoid the insulation is now a little bit busted but I can put on some new uh, thing still works and that was that was a little mistake to put it back on Okay. okay, that's good. So, I can uh, just fiddle this stuff through there. Well, one thing is good, to leave it like that, so... Let's pour it in there, okay. I guess I'm not even like fully cleaning it, because yeah, I feel it slightly lubricated. Might add some silicone spray that part afterwards hmm. oh ah oh, crap I didn't I wanted to avoid that <laughs> ew look at this man it's a lot of dirt But it seems like... Ah, now I see it. So the upper part, like the front part's like taken off like this, okay. Yeah, whatever. At least, good I checked that because I gotta redo this part here anyways and clean the contacts because that, that could also explain why it draws much, much current. Because it draws... actually quite too much current which is also well it's dangerous can cause like burnt wires other problems or just all in all just well cost much more money to well use it okay, so clean this Divided down here, okay. Like those screws aren't getting up there. Yeah, okay, that's that's a good sign. Also, it's good to have it uh, open to check all the cables and connections. Hmm. Shh, shh, some cleaning madness. Yes, using my go-to thing, just some window cleaner. Not the cheapest, just some like average good one. Uh, microfiber towel. It's an easy way, but hey, if it works, it works. That's my motto. If it works, it works. But I'm often using a space heater. Well, for the bathroom, like for some rooms in the house, sometimes I don't know, like the heater system kind of you know, quits out or something, or like the person who's um, in charge to service it, like they don't really service it good. 
also why I have it. Or like when I'm doing stuff in the garage in the winter. That's something good too because I don't have a heater in the garage. in there Let's just clean it out a bit <laughs> sure maybe I should yeah maybe I should just Much will get into to the also it's just it needs just a little bit like really slight loop loop job there so I'm going to loop this part more but I, I don't want to risk that anything uh, runs inside of of there get some stuff Good. Good. Use the saw. There's a tape here. Just so that thing won't fall down while I'm working on the other part. <laughs> so basically, went through like there, put on like this. I went like r around here all the places and stuff so but yeah the camera angle sometimes is it's not too easy to work with yeah there will be also a video sometime soon in which I show you like what equipment I use Yeah, right now the next step is just to get all the stuff through there and yeah, close this thing Sounds already a bit better. I'll put some more cleaning down here. Oh yeah. And then the other thing there. And then at least this part is done. And then we're going to the main part up there. But yeah. Takes a little bit longer, but hey. At least this, this is like one explanation why it heats cable and everything so much up. Hmm. I'm not sure should I, should I connect this right now or not? Also, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I, I guess I'm going to. Oh, I guess I'm going to put something on there again because it's kind of. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's start with that. One, this goes here. Okay, actually, it doesn't really uh, matters because it's a switch like that. But I remember they run into some, which it actually matters. So I'm like, eh, the way how is. It goes off 
and it's a bit better safe than sorry way the way it goes on the way it comes off off so So, it actually looks pretty good, pretty solid, yeah, most would be like, hey, hey dude, that's actually somewhat overkill, but hey, better safe than sorry, especially when you're working on a device like that, which draws a lot of current, so, I was saying, how, what's this actual layer right now, yes, it's perfect, like, like that, this I'd say take care of that part Better put this one here. I guess I'll test it right now, but yeah, always if you do something like that, be careful, don't touch the cables or connections, so well, hopefully everything works and nothing goes bad. Oh my god, it's silent! The part down there, like, with the gears, it was like in the last couple of years, it was really loud and quite annoying too. Hey, I'm not even, uh, I'm not really sure, but it kind of feels a little bit hotter right now already. So it should cable, cable still ice cold. Probably heats a little bit up. A little, little. But yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Well, that's it. That's at least nice. One thing is actually good that I left it open so I can maybe touch the cables for a moment. No worries. Plug it off, of course. I uh, just want to make sure everything works, nothing is up too much, so well, time to clean this one out. I guess in, in here, clean it a little bit. Yeah. 
So also one thing most people will ask is how to get off like those tape rests. Yeah. It's actually easier than everyone thinks. Really quite easy. So first there where you can see it. It's there. I guess a, something there. So Take some classic WD-40, just the normal one. Spread a little bit over it. Coat it a little bit. Leave it for a moment. The next thing you need is, uh, yeah, microfibral tablet. Yeah, okay, I could use that. But not a soft one, one like, um, like an old towel or so, something. I, I prefer those old, old ones too because you can really like uh, how can you say it like really roughly polish it off because they're quite rough yeah just don't toss those away just uh, just use them like as uh, like as cleaning racks like I do and uh, use like the new ones just to polish slightly afterwards it's the best version so and now see but then use a little bit and That one that you can clean it with WD-40. I know that's for like a year or so. I was amazed. But one thing is also like the best trick is uh, just like use something like pa paper towel and bad. But this one is better because you can really like roughly polish it in and polish all the stuff off. See? all of I guess this one is maybe like a scratch or something and see and now like the next step would be like you could uh, like if, if it's like a little bit just like a slightly wet you can use a brake cleaner you could use like some alcohol or I actually use like some contact spray basically it's all, all the same it just uh, cleans and degreases stuff so Hit it with a little bit yeah. over it. I'm going to clean that stuff anyways with window cleaner afterwards, but yeah. <sighs> I might uh, try to plug this hole. Oh, look, it's actually put with something could have been pressed out of. So. do yeah this is basically just uh, nothing gets in there but hey looks pretty stock right there so something's hitting some thing let me guess the thing which I've done with the delete on is now blocking something oh no it's a cable so far and also 
before you think uh, you couldn't do that much faster, yes, you can, of course. In my case, it was just because that one part was deleted. Not the delete, I completely forgot about that actually, to be honest. But yeah, so far so good. Always forget to plug it out. Yes. Oh look, plastic dips peeling off. Like in 90% or so, it's just basically like pushed on. Get the prism off. But yeah, as always, be careful. Okay, just like one way in, it's good. Look, how dusty it's always already stony. This one too, ah yeah. They're both like different. Yep. Yeah, look how much dirt is down there. Guys, that's disgusting, like, ugh. It's just dusty in here, Jesus! Oh, also, it's a metal fan, okay. Seems like the bearing is better shape than I thought, that's good. Yeah, I was like, from what is that? It's from the motor, from the elect electro motor down there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that thing's glued on. That's stupid. It's the first thing I can say. Yeah. I'm 100% honest about this one. Also, it's a little bit stupid that I don't have a thing right here. Also. Oh, God. Yeah, the fan blades are pretty. Oh, pretty dirty, actually. I should take off this fan here. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Careful. I'll be extremely careful with that thing. Wow. Cool. Cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So, uh, hold on a second. One important thing is like, how is this up? It's this side's for the whole thing. Oh, that was a, this magnet here. Okay, so make a little thing. This is this is how it faces up. This is how it faces down. So it's like a little node. Okay, this thing's glued on. Uh, oh good, come on. Oh, 
and yeah. Sorry for I'm holding it, but hey, I can't. I'm not a magician. I have three arms, three arms yet, or four. So. But yeah, I'm a little bit over two hours on it right now, but hey, it's only getting boring for me. And also I take just my time. One of the most important things when you're doing something which you've never done before, take your time. Also, not getting boring right now. Having my headset on, listening to some podcasts, and yes working along might have spilled something like a couple years ago onto it like while it was off laying on its back someone spilled some juice on it I don't know did it actually shift a little bit out also, it wasn't it? It wasn't like that. <laughs> I guess it was like that. <sighs> okay. Um, next step would be, I guess, uh, reassembly of this part to there. And one thing is still a problem, which I what I hate is like I, I can't uh, clean it right. That bag, <laughs> I'm holding this and stuff and. Uh, I guess I gotta skip this part or do like on like an other attempt or maybe, um, maybe Oh this actually works a bit not too much but eh No no Ah, crap. Oh, this is, this is stupid, really. Okay, guys, seems like I lost a screw. Oh, ah. Bruh, you're gonna be kidding me. The I just searched like five minutes over there and it was literally there next to me on the table. Ah, insert huge bra moments here. Like literally, ah. Yeah, this is the only thing which pisses me off sometimes. Make some help over here, like this here. Oh no, 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 it's this, this here. Okay, seems like I got it in. Ouch. That was a bit annoying, but yeah, now it's in. So, little tip over here. If you need a little bit help with like a screw hole and you have to look through a mesh like that, use a sharpie. Smoke it around the hole and yeah, it's a little guideline there. Same thing at least. 10 minutes of struggling. Now you know what, I screwed it up here, I guess I'm going to slay it like this and try to clean it all as best as possible. Like hell, like even with unlimited money I still would do stuff like that because I want to know how, how that stuff works and hey, I like stuff like that. It's, Gotta do something good, it's interesting, it's fun to do just have a little project like that and yeah. Because like from sitting around doing nothing you will only get depressed.
contact cleaner. Ah yes. Oh yes. Listen, the clicks are much louder and like it's much smoother. A little sticker here. I want to put it back in case, like, say that the engine, yeah, that motor breaks. At least I know what it was, and well, I can replace it in that case. Just uh, the good. Hope everything works. Okay, it works. What? <laughs> oh my god. That thing was just right behind there and I was looking inside and I was like, oh my god, it's burning through something. But nah, seems like it's right. It seems like there is something. for a moment. Is it still sparking there or not? No, it's not sparking. But actually I, I can hear something. Yeah, okay, it's sparking but very lightly, but I can hear something like uh, something isn't like well aligned right there. Not perfect, but it looks pretty good compared to the four. Yeah, how I said, I could have done like even like the whole taking apart thing, like taking it off and stuff, but I'm like, eh. Thing. thing will probably look in like two years again that bad. I wonder where the places I'm using this thing most of the time it's like dusty. So look at this. Yes, I know it's with the fence, but hey, I could have taken uh, taken off, but I didn't want it to waste like uh, any more time on soldering and stuff, and also make this even like more complicated or unstable. So, anyways, yeah, here are the paint dots. Look how clean it is, like overall. Oh, I actually forgot one thing. One important thing. The plug. So, give me a second.
I want to draw so much 16 ampere up to 16 amps jeez yeah. and then there is like a connection which which wasn't really solid or something in all and I'm like yeah right and that explains a lot anyways there it is beautiful well not as shiny as new but hey it's something but it's, it's not more looking like it's almost a decade old but maybe like a year or so also look look at those fins hope you can see them they're beautiful well, no Turn it on. Let's adjust the camera. <sighs> so oh yeah, right. Totally forgot. I'm like what? But yeah. Turn this one up. Well, it's basically for the heat control. So heat. Okay, it smells a little bit bad right now, but I we're off. But yeah. Well, I'm not sure, but I guess. Well, I'm not sure, but I guess this is pretty much it for this one. This video. Yeah, but the heat from it, pretty good right now. Much better than like before. No wonder with all that dust. I guess. Uh, I guess this is, this is also why. Um, what's it called again? Let's turn it off for a moment. I guess this is also why um, the fans make uh, the fan makes a little noise because like um, the fins of the fan were so dirty and clustered. No wonder they were kind of like uh, probably running quite slow. So yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time on random fixes and restorations. And, like always, I have no idea what comes next. <laughs> That's the random part about it. <laughs> yeah, see you all next time. Okay, so, it's the next day. Just wanted to make this part as a bonus. So, I actually found managed to find a fitting screw because I lost this one so now all four screws are in tightens them up tightens them up again also and one noise which I've uh, experienced like at the end of the part of yesterday turned out it needed to be broken in a little bit so well I was letting it run for about an hour and like after 30 minutes or so that one um, noise it was making uh, it actually disappeared so probably needed to run a little bit so and here you can see I started makes maybe a little bit of uh, noise like that still but it seems like it's, it gotta warm up a bit because when, uh, when it's like really cold yeah, it makes a little bit of a noise, but so far, what can I say? <laughs> Doing this with one hand is actually not as easy. Yeah. Oh yeah, what can I say? It runs great. Well, it runs actually, I don't know, at least like twice as better as before. Like, yeah, works twice as better as before. Also about the cable. I it on the second level. I, I actually tested it like uh, today also for like letting it run in a room because we are getting where is this ice cold over here 
And also, after like letting it run for about like half an hour straight, I touched the cable and it was maybe like two to maybe three degrees warmer uh, than like the rest like of the room, the room temperature. So very slightly warm. So, but before that, it was basically when you touched it and you were like, whoa, a little bit more and the cable is going to melt or something like, whoa, overkill basically. But yeah, what can I say? Runs great, perfect for this weather because like the normal heaters, the radiators are <laughs> kind of holding up or getting to warm up a room as fast. But hey, one of those things where they aren't too efficient. But no, hey, at least this thing is at least, what can I say, at least 10 times or even 20 times more efficient than before for that repair and remove. But hey, what can I say? Love that thing, love the outcome already. So, anyways, that was the bonus, and yeah, see you all next time.